Okay, just to start us off here, I drew this. I'm, I'm not claiming to be an artist, but this will get you an idea. This would be the carb. This would be the your motor. And my my motorcycle just happens to have four carbs. But this will get you an idea. Like I said, this would be the selling your uh, selling bowl. And on the bottom of the bowl, you'll have a. Uh, that's not necessarily a selling bowl. That'd be the uh, your fuel bowl. On the bottom, you'd have a little um, screw, and, and there's a nipple on the other side of the screw. And a lot of times, on the whenever they were new, there was a hose that would be hooked onto this and go down. That way, you can drain it for the winter time. And if there's any leaks, it wouldn't be all over the place. Okay, this to set your float and your, what your float would look like. Your float would be similar to this. These are the floats, and they'll be square. And you'd have a piece coming off of here, it would come down, piece come off of here, come down. Then you'd have a little tab here, and your um, needle valve would, would actually hook into this tab, then goes up into the carb. It would actually sit like right inside, like this. And your needle valve would sit up in here and let the fuel go in and out. Okay, what you're actually wanting to do is you're wanting to, you're wanting to adjust the level level of fuel that's inside this. And it, by doing how you do that is you adjust how high and low your floats are go are, and you just all you gotta do is slightly bend this tab. I mean, you don't take much. You don't want to reef on that little tab because it will break. And that will tell that that'll make it so the uh, needle valve will open and close sooner or later. Is whatever you need it. And my advice on this is, I mean, you have to see the the level of the fuel. Well, how do you see the level of the fuel if this is all closed off? Well, all you need to do is get yourself a piece of clear hose. Now it's got to be be able to withstand fuel. So myself, to make sure any of the hose that I'm using withstands can withstand a fuel, I'll take a little cap and put a little bit of fuel in there then just dab the, and hold the hose in it for a little bit pull it out and make sure it ain't gummy or anything if, if it's gummy, you can't use it if it's softened up more, you can't use it but you hook your rubber hose to the snipple and you hold it up so it's like this I'll draw it up okay, I missed it you hook your rubber hose to that nipple, and it's got to go, go up above beside the carburetor here. And what you do is, you don't turn the engine on or anything. All you got to do is you open this little screw up it's right here. And you, you open it up so the fuel will start flowing down this hose. We won't, as long as you're holding it up, it won't flow out. It'll go as high as the level is in the carburetor. And on my bike, you want it level with the top where the carburetor, that bowl, is with the bottom of the carb. That's where it meets there. So what you got, what I do is I put a little mark going across the rubber hose so I can line it up and visually see it better. And once you get that, you don't, you don't want it, you don't want it down like this level, and you don't want it too high. If it's too high, it's it just going to flow right out into the the motor. If you learn, if you if you have it too high, that's going to be too rich. If you've got it too low, it's going to be too lean, and neither one of them is good for the engine. So what you want to do is you want to adjust it so it's just level. It's just level with the top of the motor, the top of the oh, not the motor, the uh, the bowl here. And whenever you, and to adjust that, of course, you got to take it. Now, on my bike, you got to remove, and I do this all on bench instead of on the motor. I'll take it off and put the carburetor actually in a vise. That way, I can get to it and take the bowls off easily. Because you got to take them off, adjust it up or down, that little, uh, little tab up or down just a little bit. Then put the bowl back on, then recheck it to make sure that it's level. Once you get it level, the 
car the carburetor will put the right amount of fuel in as long as everything else I and mean, all your other stuff up in the carburetor set work correctly. This will help help it so the proper amount of fuel will go into the motor and you won't have problems like my my motors right now is giving a little bit of a popping noise which sounds like a um, a vacuum leak on the carburetor but I've I checked it all the vacuum I checked everything on the carburetor and there is no leaks which I can I can do that test some other time on another video and I mean this question came up from another vlogger and I thought this would be the interesting thing to um, show you how to do this I mean like I said mine has four car carburetors some of them have only have some of them has one carburetor I mean I mean, a lot of them don't even have any carburetor at all. They're fuel injected. They have a, thro a, a throttle body. But this is how you do the carburetor. Before you do anything, though, get yourself a proper shop manual so you can, you know, exactly where the levels are and exactly how to do this. This is how I learned how to do it from my, uh, K my 82 KZ750. Remember, you need a clear, clear hose screwdriver and you got to be able to have your carburetors accessible so you can remove the your bowl so you can adjust that little tab tab will be right there so this will give you a general idea how to do it now you also should if you have multiple carburetors sink vacuum sink your carburetors mine don't seem like I really need it because I never Whenever I took them apart, I never took them totally apart. I never took them completely off the rack and separate them. So it doesn't seem like it really needs it. But I will be running a, I'll be making a video on how to do that in the future. In fact, to buy the, the proper tool, the vacuum to, uh, gauges for this, they are very expensive. I found a good solution on the internet. I'll be making my own and showing you on a video how to do this. Like I said, this is the carburetor. You got your floats, little tab up here with your needle valve going up, and I mean this is just a rough idea. So unscrew this, let it flow up. That gives you an, uh, an idea where the fuel is. You have to have your fuel turned on at your at your uh, fuel tank too. If you got an on and off, mine doesn't have an on and off. Mine has a uh, oh, reserve a um, purge uh, the purge uh, it has three settings but there's no off on it it's just because it's a vacuum setup but this is how we how you do it I hope this can help somebody out in the future I mean any any questions just leave it leave any questions or comments down in the comment box below and I hope that I can help you out I mean I'm not an expert I'm not a mechanic this is just what I have learned. And I do have a manual for my bike. And this is how they describe how to do it. 